Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. Hey, I'm a show. Uh, Anonymous is in my house right now watching Walking Dead. Just when I thought I was rid of him. Seriously? No, I'm kidding. Uh, he's actually here uh, working on his frame locks. Uh, got a whole bunch of them. I mean, he probably won't like me showing them, but no, there's all different styles of it. He's going to have a whole bunch done for the knife show coming up, guys. So if you want to meet Anonymous, he'll probably be walking around with me. So uh, I'll point him out if you ask me. And you can take a picture of him and sell it. But uh, yeah, I got I got two pimp knives, a uh, new knife, some modifications, and a little review real quick. Uh, first up, I got on a trade today. I got this cool Zermano, Zermana, Zermani, whatever the fuck his name is. Cool knives, really smooth. Got the IKBS. Um, don't know the name of it. Uh, typical, typical me. Don't know the name of an expensive knife I just got in a trade, but I like it. That's all I know. Missing pocket clip screw, but it is what it is. It's a cool knife. Very, very smooth. Like extremely smooth. Uh, the Grayman, get a little refurb on it. Just stone washed everything. Put a new uh, thumb stud on there because I did not like the thumb stud that was on it. Uh, it was. You can't. I, I kind of feel like when you can't see that thumb stud from this angle, uh, you're gonna have some issues opening it. So. That's just what I notice. Every knife that is hard to open with a thumb stud, <clears throat> it's just way too low. But the Grayman looks real good stone washed. Very nice, very clean. It looks good, I'm happy with it. That guy, and then uh, fixed up my knife here. So it's uh, thumb, uh, the thumb stud there is, uh, it is what it is, guys. I mean, it's it's a little off, but that's how it had to be to, uh, you know, keep it uh, keep the lock good. Uh, but you know, the next one be easier. It's a prototype. It doesn't bug me one bit, but it's smooth. Just need to put a detent in there. Uh, you see, the centering's perfect. It's got a nice little little orange backspacer. But it's very smooth, so imagine with the D10, it's going to be even smoother. Who was texting me like 20 times? Okay. Anyway, yeah, but guys, yeah, it's just it's really quiet too. Lockup's nice and early. Zero blade play, not movement anywhere. <clears throat> Definitely a good uh, little prototype, just to kind of show. You'll see what I can do, and I uh, show this at the show. So happy with it, very happy. Thanks for the feedback, guys. Still don't know the name. I'm probably gonna look at tonight while I'm laying in bed. Uh, just look at some of the comments. I did look at some, and they were pretty funny. Uh, was it Glockmaster or something? I don't know. What the hell his deal is with the puff thing? I don't know what that's all about. I'm not a pothead though, so <laughs> I don't. I don't want to steal Gavco's puffer fish idea. So. Yep, so if you're at the knife show, guys, I'll have this. I'll probably be there on Friday and Saturday. Uh, at the least, for, definitely Saturday for sure, 100%. So, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm kind of kind of been getting new knives lately to, you know, doing trades and so I could, you know, don't have to spend money. Maybe I could trade something at the show that I really want. Uh, even though the stuff I've gotten, I actually do really like, so. Anyway, first up, quick review, a little quickie review here. So, uh, I had asked uh, Farm Doc. Uh, to grab me this Spyderco. It's been a while since I had a Spyderco. Now, don't ask me to pronounce this. I have no idea. Uh, I saw this one and I really wanted it. Nalaka. Uh, it's a Japanese design. I don't know much about the backstory. I know it's a traditional Japanese style, like uh, Puko or whatever the hell you call it. I don't know. But it's a folding knife version. I got it. I just had, I wanted it so bad. I mean, I saw it and I just thought it was cool as hell. And uh, I get the feeling a lot of people are turned off by the looks of it. Uh, for me, I find this thing to be absolutely beautiful. I mean, when it's closed, it's just, <clears throat> just looks like a piece of wood or something. It's just really just clean as hell. It's a very clean knife. Uh, you got the brown G10, kind of a triangular, just uh, cuts on both sides. Solid stainless steel backspacer, really nice low ride fold over clip, which is perfect by the way. 
Uh, they're very shiny and nice and fit and finish is perfection. It's got that hoback style cut out in the blade, so it's like an inset, uh, kind of like the, the uh, Surefire, uh, I think it's the Delta, right? Yeah, so it's, you know, you don't see a stop in anywhere in there, uh, which I like, and it is just, it is just so freaking smooth. And uh, it is CPM S30V. It's made in uh, Taiwan. All my favorite Spydercos are Taiwanese made or made in Taiwan. You can see there's like nice grind lines on there and you don't even see, it's pretty much a like zero grind, I guess, a zero. And it is, <clears throat> I think this knife has basically redefined the word sharp. Let me grab a uh, piece of paper. If this doesn't cut here, guys, I'm gonna give away this knife to the first person to say something. Seriously. Look at that shit. This is right out the box. I'm going like super freaking hard and fast and it's just slicing through it. It's so freaking sharp, guys. This thing is insane. So, uh, so far, I mean, it's rock solid liner lock. I love it. I'm starting to get annoyed with frame locks, guys. I might be, uh, Switching over to, to liner locks pretty soon here because I, I all the problems I remember with every knife is always Frame lock, you know, but this has a really tiny little hole there But it's enough to grab the finger nicely and just Flips open Beautifully very easy to engage and disengage the lock the only problem I have is not really a problem It's just not the most comfortable thing in the world because this jams right here came same with the rock lobster or the lump Chinese It's just got that straight nothing there so of course in the left hand feels okay because it goes in there and over just like the crusader but guys if you're on the fence about this one it is a vicious knife and it is sharp as fuck and it is beautiful and smooth and perfection i'm very happy that i got this thank you farm doc uh, i'm i'll pay you whatever the hell i feel like it but you know for now i'm just gonna keep it i'm just joking dude i love to mess with you on video almost cut myself there so, first up, <clears throat> I don't know which one to show first. Uh, I'm gonna have a problem with the dark thing again. So this is a hinderer that I had pimped before, and the owner wanted some marble carbon fiber, but I've been having a lot of trouble with the marble lately, guys. Um, Black Slate's the only one that makes it, and uh, I just, uh, he doesn't have it often, and it comes in really thick pieces, and just not easy to work with so basically I threw this option out there for my buddy Bob uh, to be the first one to get tough knives carbon fiber and uh, it turned out way better than I thought it would and uh, as Black Slate made this they put the uh, or he put the pattern in the carbon fiber and it turned out absolutely amazing I love it hopefully I can get it to glow enough because I'm not right next to the light switch at like the last place so I gotta walk over there and walk back so, as you can see, it's all sorts of fucking cool. Seriously, that looks just badass. I mean, that looks amazing. I love it. I'm in love with this, seriously. Did a really good job with, uh, with the glow epoxy. Took the liner out there, it's plenty thick enough just to be by itself. And uh, nice and smooth, nice and centered, lightweight because the liner's gone, very comfortable, the tools are all fit in place. It's just flat and uh, beveled. So uh, this is the uh, Glow Epoxy Tough Knives Carbon Fiber. I really like it a lot is so cool looking and it glows like a really nice greenish blue I don't know if it's because it's a really thin layer but it's just it's gorgeous I love it love it love it love it so Bob, you first. Uh, let me go. Let me know what you guys think. 
Um, kind of, I'm kind of doing this as a tester to see if I should keep, I should get more of this, you know, so I can, uh, you know, keep keep having it in stock, so you guys can get it. I'm, I'm just not too sure if you guys would want, <clears throat> you know, my logo everywhere uh, because it is me. I mean, and, and it's a hinderer, so it doesn't make any sense. But if you really like my work, I guess. Uh, maybe you're you're a fan. Uh, of my stuff and you, you you like it that much that you want the logo then uh yeah definitely i love it i definitely love it it, it looks like a nice design too you know because the way they they stick together like that like chain together so it definitely is gorgeous i love it so next up i got a a kershaw one of my favorite kershaws of all time i was given free reign over this one and i love the way it turned out i went the extra mile on it just for the hell of it because i love this knife so much uh, as far as Kershaw's go, this is definitely one of my tops of all time. Uh, there's a few things that need to be done for it to be my favorite. <clears throat> so I did it to this one, and then some. So you got the composite Kershaw Junkyard Dog with the acid wash, which looks amazing with that, with that composite blade. Absolutely sick as hell. See the D2 there in the tip. Nice stone wash on there. Almost cut myself. Looks gorgeous. And as you might have seen, Choil added. No need for the uh, the Finding Nemo thin fin there. Uh, you see, it's nice and smooth and beveled on both sides. And then we got the black G10, heavily sandblasted. I'm gonna call it the natural pattern. I, I think uh, Jeff Carg has a natural pattern, but I gotta think of a name for it. I think it's more like a tranquil pattern or something. It's like, it's kind of more contoured and rounded than the rock pattern. Everything just flows nicely. It's, it's similar to the, uh, I was going for the Crusader Forge pattern that was on there, but it turned out different. <clears throat> I really like it. And you see I put a nice pot clip on there. Of course, you guys know that the pot clip sucks on this thing. And a Damascus backspacer, just for the hell of it. Heat colored, sticks out for uh, for all your skull crushing needs. It's kind of like a bluish, heat colored uh, Damascus. Just adds a bit of awesome. So the overall look of this junkyard dog is just vicious, guys. It is gorgeous. It's a lot better than a. Uh, love the profile of it with that toil cut out. You know, a little tip on the end just adds so much to it. Kind of looks goofy and awkward with that big flipper. But as you can see, it looks nice. And it looks even better when it's like this. When it's not like this, it's like, whoop, big. And you definitely, it's smooth as hell. Uh, anodized the liners, just kind of like a deep bluish gold. Looks more blue here than uh, on camera. But uh, I love this. Feels amazing, just like all these do. Chokes up nice as hell. Doesn't have any hot spots anywhere. Centering's good. Uh, now, if you're going to use that pommel, I suggest coming from this side because it doesn't feel very good like this. I mean, it can I guess, but it just feels better like that. Yeah, if you're going to break some glass with it, but everything's nice and smooth and rounded. See there's lines in it all the way up, it's Damascus. Really nice looking. I like it. Yep. Very happy with the way that one turned out. Acid wash looks great. The uh, the separation, uh, I think it's copper, it like came out even brighter than before. It's gorgeous guys. I like it a lot. I'm on a black G10 kick, guys. It kind of just, it's so clean looking compared to like the regular peel ply crap that you get on everything. That's a cool blade. So that's finished. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. <clears throat> Have a great night. Peace.